Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs. It is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, June 9, 2021. If you like the support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we have turned around here and headed back towards the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average and got rejected. But this is still a fairly encouraging sign. Um, more encouraging, it looked like we were going to head towards the 300 moving average, but that is not the case at this point. We are heading towards the 50 and the 200 moving average. And if we manage to break above there, there's a fairly good chance that we'll head towards the 150 and the 100 moving average. Breaking above those, well, that opens the door back to the previous highs all the way up at 160. So that's a massive move to the upside. This uh, this ETF has absolutely been hammered um, the last three, uh, three to four months. And uh, now it could be that we are going to see this uh, trying to break above the 50 moving average. It has failed uh, three times before. We can see it right here. Can see right there and we also can see it recently here that we've got rejected at the 50 moving average so break about the 50 that's a very encouraging sign if you look at technical indicators macd is bullish the rsi is flat cci is bullish the Cassie is bullish and we're heading towards the top of the bullish band here so pullback could be expected so let's look at dvi so dvi has bounced from the 20 exponential as it has been done now a million times in the last few months you can see how often it has basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential and we did again today and it, this is a fairly encouraging candlestick so we could be heading towards the top of the bullinger band which is roughly 0.87 to the upside and very close to the very all-time highs if you look at technical indicators they are not as uh, promising the macd is still bearish the rsi is bullish the cci is uh, still in bullish territory and the stochastic is crossing the signal line becoming uh, bearish at this current stage so due to the fact that we basically rallied uh, from the breakdown here that is probably occurring a sign that will continue uh, grinding higher towards the top of the bullish band at 123. so let's look at IV, uh, vti sorry so vti has crossed above um, 119 and we're trading at 220 at this current stage technical indicators are looking very promising at this point we are significantly overbought approaching overstretched condition here in the top of the bullish band so pullback could be expected but um, but uh, at this point momentum is definitely to the upside 20 exponential has proven to be massive support so if we were to break down then we would probably bounce around the 20 exponential so let's look at mchi so this continues to break down we have uh, broken down below the 50 moving average and all the other moving averages that are right here if you look at technical indicators they are not looking very promising macd is completely turning around they are still above the signal line the rsi is bearish the cci is becoming bearish and the so is the stochastic if we break below the middle of the bullish band then we could see this drop all the way down to the very bottom again roughly at just above the 300 moving average and a drop of 5.6 percent to the downside if we rally from here then we need to go get, get past 84. so let's look at ivv so very similar here we have also rallied a little bit up 0.13 percent at this current stage we did break down and then rally at the end of the session you can see that the MACD is still bullish. The RSI is also bullish, significantly overbought. CCI is uh, bullish, and so is the stochastic. And we are approaching the top of this bullish band. If we were to break down, the 20 exponential has been major support in the past, as we have been basically bouncing off that, and also the 50 moving average. Occasionally, uh, we have almost reached towards the 100 moving average, but that is basically once uh, the last... Uh, half of a year so so the 20 extension and 50 that is basically has been proven to be the bottom of this market if you manage to break above we actually break above the previous level where we're right now at the 424 that will probably go towards a 430 
So well, I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.